Well, I'm delighted to say with me now is AFC Wimbledon's latest signing on loan from Brentford. It's Paris Magoma. Paris, tell us about how the deal came about. What appealed to you about it? Obviously, speaking with the with the boys at Brentford that have been here in the past, um, telling me that it's obviously a good club. They 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 got the right mentality. With, they want to try push young players and um, get them involved in the league. So that was definitely an appeal to me. What have Brentford said that they want from you to get from this deal and also what's Johnny Jackson said that he wants out of you? For me, Brentford, it was more experience, you know. Like, I'm getting to the age where I'm 21, I need to get in the league, I need to I need to prove myself with different style of football. Um, so that's what um, they want from me. And um, I had a conversation with the, with the gaffer, um, I think, a week ago now. And he obviously, his philosophy is to play football, to get the ball from the back and then... Um, me as a sitter, get the ball, play play the forward players and let them do their magic really. Growing up in a football family, tell us a little bit about that, it's a family of footballing yeah, brothers, it's, yeah? It's great man, because we're all different ages, so my oldest brother, 34, he's he's been through it, so if I ever need advice, I could just go to him and then he will tell me, because he's been, he's been in that situation, you know. Um, my, my middle brother is 25 now. Um, he's been in the league, he's, he's been at Tottenham, so if I need advice again I could always go to him as well. So, but it's, it's good, it's always, it's, always, it's always nice because when, like, let's say in the off-season, we could just work together because we know our aim, we know what, we need to, what um, levels we need to hit and we can also push each other. Good stuff. And of course, going back to your Spurs days before Brentford, yeah. um, it all sort of bring back that uh, partnership you had in midfield with George Marsh again. You had some good memories, good results with him in the past? Yeah, 100%. Marsh is a top guy, man. He's, um, he's hard working, good technically, good on the ball. And, you know, he's always going to give that 100% for, um, for, for, for the club and also for the fans. So it's, um, it's, 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 it's nice to be playing with him again. And of course, in your time at Spurs as well, you did actually get to play for the first team as well under Maurizio Pochettino. Yeah. What was that like? Um, no, it was um, it was a very good experience playing with um, players like Lucas Moura, Harry Kane, um, Lorente at the time, um, and just seeing their approach to the game. You know, obviously I was a young boy. I think I was around seventeen years years old. So playing with them and learning from them obviously helped me in my career and like allowing me to know what levels that I need to get to to even be as close as them and what they've achieved. You represented your country as well, England yeah. youth. Must have been a very proud moment for the family. Tell uh, us about that. No, I'm very proud, especially when you're with them from under 15s all the way to under 20s. It's, um, it's good because all the players that come around there, you build a bond together. And then, un well, sadly, when COVID happened, we couldn't play in the Euros. So... That was a bit upsetting, but it's, it's, it's always good to represent your country. Still ambitions, as you were saying, what to play for the 21s perhaps one day? No, 100%. I think, um, obviously, being with the squad from such a young age, you obviously want to get to the 21s because it's now, that's a bigger stage, if you know what I mean. So I think coming here now to get experience, to get games, I think it will benefit me to try and get in um, into the manager squad. So you're a midfielder, obviously. For the Dons fans that don't perhaps know your game, tell us a little bit about your strengths. Um, I'd say ball player, like to, like to get on the ball to try and make things happen, keep the ball moving, um, obviously love going forward, but at the same time, um, the defensive side of the game is also important for me as a, as a number six. So um, it's definitely going to be, it's definitely going to be a challenge um, playing, in, um, playing in this league, but I'm, I'm ready for it, I'm excited. And of course, I mean, you've just earned promotion to Brentford's first team as well. Yeah. Um, but coming through that Brentford B structure, it's a unique thing. How much has that really helped your game? Um, it's helped it a lot because obviously coming through Tottenham and coming through the academy stages where you're just playing against the Chelsea's, the Arsenal's, the Man City's and Liverpool's. When, you, when, I, when I came to Brentford B, you're playing teams League 2 in the conference or maybe even lower or... You're playing against really top teams that we did last season um, against PSV, so you get such a, a wide range of games, and it's like one day you can be playing against a team up here, or you can be playing a, against a team that's that's um, lower in the leagues. But they both benefit you in um, in the best ways possible. You've done a little bit of research about our club yourself. 
But of course, there's been a number of players that have come through here, like Matt Cox, yes, ja Jarko yes. Oxman, Marcus Force, yes. Mads Beck. You must have heard a lot from them. I suppose you're still tapping into them as well for, for information about Yeah, no, 100%. The club. Um, especially um, someone who I signed for Brentford with at the same time was um, Aaron Prez. Um, and he's a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a top bloke, he's a top guy. Um, and he loved it here, he loved his time here. And he's obviously telling me about it when everyone knew I was going to come here. So um, it's, been, um, it's been good to get his um, advice and his insight on how the club is, how the fans are, and um, what the... Um, aspirations are. So it's uh, very good to keep in touch with them. And the move itself, it's its an important one at this stage in your career, yeah? It, was, it had to be the right one for you and you're happy yeah, with what no, you've done? Yeah, no, 100%. Always a, a first loan is always the most important thing, I'd say, for someone in their career because it either makes or breaks you, you know? Um, you're at that stage in your career where you need to get a run of games and you need to prove, prove yourself to... You need to prove um, yourself to yourself and also to to your parent club and just football around the footballing world in general. So um, I think it's um, definitely a good step, and um, I'm very happy to be at Wimbledon. And hopefully I can do my best for the club and um, also for the fans. Brilliant, Paris McGoma. Welcome to Wimbledon. Thank you very much.